and welcome to another Luminar Coffee Break. I'm your host, Benelli. Now, our topic today is how to save or how to repair an underexposed image. Now, as photographers, sometimes we're stuck with that. Sometimes we go out of our way to get the best shot that we're focusing on the creative side and the technical side, and we end up with an image that we think can't be saved. Here, I'm going to show you how we can save that. So let me just take one moment. So this is going to be the image we're going to be working on, and we're going to be saving it. Now, before we begin, we'd like to take a moment. Sorry, uh, we'd like to take a moment, and we want to thank our our partner Fujifilm for helping us and supporting the Luminar Coffee Breaks. Uh, they want uh, Fujifilm wants to remind us: stay safe, stay creative, stay at home. Great. All right. So let's dive right in. So here we are with the image. Now I'm going to show you something real simple. Honestly, here's a real quick, boring way to fix it. One click AI face enhancer and let's get to it. There it is. And as soon as it comes up, hello from Belize. Now I do realize by the way, uh, while this is loading, uh, I do want to apologize that I accidentally put the schedule for 11 p.m. at night because we did one 11 a.m. this morning. So it's going to take a little while for everyone to catch on. Good. So I'm glad everyone is here. I am. Uh, we'll be broadcasting this now at 5 o'clock um, Eastern time. All right. Let's get back to it here. All right. So here I am. And we're going to look. Let me do this. There we go. Here we go. Right. All right. I see what I did. Boom. All right. So the very quick one that I'd like to do is AI, um, AI image enhancer, because it's going to use the tools that I normally do. So here's before, here's after. Instead of doing that, I'm going to come back down to the history, go to the original. I'm going to show you how to manually do it really quick and then build your own look based on it. So here we are with Noah. I love this shot, but and I'm going to remind myself, whatever I do, do not, um, do not give him uh, Cheetos. So what we're going to do right now, Julie, is we're repairing a underexposed image. So we're going to fix an underexposed image. So I like to come over to AI Enhancer, and I'm going to fix this at the very end. And we're going to crank that up and look, already the image is looking good before and after. Now, keep in mind, here's the light tool. The light tool is your traditional, is your traditional tool that you would normally use for developing. So it has all the traditional tools that you're used to, from the exposure, the contrast, all the way up through. Now, traditionally, you'd come in and say, okay, well, this image is about a half a stop underexposed. You could use the exposure um, tool or the exposure slider to bring back some of the, the exposure. However, I want to use AI tools so this way I could use those on other images when I'm done. Now, one thing I can't do is use a smart contrast because that's going to be carrying over to all the images. All right. So here we are with the light tool. Now I'll come down to the portrait tools, and I want to add a light to his face. While we're here, we might as well enhance the eyes and remove some of the dark circles. All right. So far, I mean, look how it's shaping up. This is what we started with, an underexposed image that we thought we couldn't save, and already it's starting to take shape. You know, while we're at the portrait tools, since he's a child, let's make his skin not too plasticky soft, right about there. He's such a good looking kid. And like I said earlier, um, <laughs> I got a little carried away and I let him have Cheetos and I shouldn't have done that before the shoot. All right, so now that we have this set, I'm gonna come down to the Pro Tools and I'll click on Advanced Contrast. Now watch what's gonna happen. 
So you could tell that this was an underexposed image because his eyes are in shadow. So let's take the shadow slider. Look at that. I'm going to crank it up and I'm going to balance it. Look at that. Shit. I mean, I'm so excited about that. Here's before. Here's after. I tried several different things to bring those eyes out. I even tried a dodge and burn. But then um, when I used the dodge to lighten it, the colors were way off. So I really like what the advanced contrast is doing because it's going to target the highlights, the midtones, and the shadows all at the same time. Or, or I'm sorry, independently. So let's go to the highlights. I'm going to zoom in. Watch his face. Ready? I'm going to balance it. So I want a little glow. Look at that, right here. And of course, the midtones. I, I very, very, very little. We need that. There. Now watch this. Before and after. Look. At, so you see how their his eyes are being balanced properly now. So again, before eyes were in shadow. After now it's looking much better. So here's the original image we started with. And we just used the three tools. We, or I'm sorry, four tools. We started with the AI enhancer. From there, just a little, a little advanced contrast or sharp, smart contrast. Came down to the skin enhancer, of course. And now here's where we added light to the face. At this point, I can experiment a little bit more. Oh, I like it right about there. Good. Increase the eye, made the eyes pop out better. And then, of course, the dark circles. Since he has teeth in the image, let's increase the teeth. Good. And his eyebrows are getting lost. So let's improve the eyebrows. Look at that. Much better. All right, what the heck? While we're here, let's see what we can do to the lips. No, about there. Ah, it makes him look like a little a, look, a girl, so we'll leave this here. Where do we darken the lips? Okay, I like that. Before and after. All right. So notice what we're doing here is, we, we, like I said, we started with an underexposed image, and this image, I consider this a throwaway image. I didn't, I never did anything with it. I shot it. I loved his expression. I loved what he's doing. But from a technical standpoint, I wasn't too happy with the the exposure. And I tried in the past to fix it. Here, I think what saved me is the AI enhancer. Here's, here's what it looks like before and after. Look at that. And the other heavy lifting was done with the advanced contrast. Look at that. All right. So the point I'm trying to get at, don't delete your old photos because maybe technology was what you had back then. The technology wasn't ready to enhance or fix those images in the future, which we are now. Look what I was able to do to that image. Had I have deleted this, I never could have fixed it in the future. All right. Now, a couple things. Let's look at it. I love I love the shot. Now, down in here. <laughs> Uh, his button was un it was unbuttoned. A real quick way to fix that is to crop it. I could use Photoshop at this point and do the squeeze tool, but it kind of looks a little hokey or a little fake. So look what we'll do here. In fact, I don't want it to, there we go, proportional one or just like this. Good. And... Just cut it right about there. And I like cutting the head off just a little bit. Good. Oh, I like that. All right. Now, all right, let's get rid of those little stains that I shouldn't have uh, <coughs> given them, give them that little, those little um Cheetos. All right, so we're going to get rid of these. It's actually just that one and a little blemish here. I'm going to turn off the highlighter. There we go. 
And I'm just using the erase tool. I might as well get rid of this up here. And here we are. And again, hello, Russell. And I apologize once again. Um, I had this scheduled accidentally for 11 p.m. at night, and I couldn't figure out how to change that. So I'm hoping we'll be able to see all of this on uh, YouTube. Oh, there we are. We're done. And actually, I like that crop, too. Doesn't that look really cool? So that'd be a 16 by 20. Let's see. Uh, or 19. Yeah, yeah that, that would probably be a 19 or 16 by 9 ratio. But look how awesome that is. Before, after, I can't wait for his grandmother to see this. Now I'm looking a little bit closer at his teeth. So let's come back to the portrait tools. And let's come down to the teeth again. There we go. Right about here is good. All right, I like that. Now, so look at that. So when I did this earlier, I started playing around with different looks and different things I had to it. So let, let's, let's do that right now. Before I go any further, I do want to go to the essential tools. And under color, let's see if there's color cast. Okay. Just a little. Right about there. And I think the reds. I want to dial it back just a little bit. Uh, there we go. We'll do the saturation. There we go. All right. That's better. Now I want to create a new layer. So add a new adjustment layer. And the reason for this is I want to put a different look or a different change there. If I like it, I'll keep it. If I don't, I just delete that layer and I'm back where um, I'm back to the image that I really liked. All right. So I'm going to come down to the looks and I'm going to click on portrait because that's what we were playing with earlier this morning. And let's see. Film. So I really like what film is going to be doing here. And all film did is, you guessed it, down into the, um, where are we? There we go. Down into the creative tools, it used film as one of the, the tools. Uh, AI, let's see what it's doing here. Let's dial that back. Okay, that's good. Um, structure is making the back look really good. So look at that. And actually, I'm going to turn, I'm, you know what? I'm going to reset it because I want that to look soft. Good. And of course, color. Desaturation, let's see. Or desaturated. Four. After. Um, let's tweak it. Right about there okay and then let's come down to our film grain and i want to add i'm going to show you the difference so that's what we're doing with the film grain so we're adding a bunch of no, digital noise let's dial it way back right about there good so there's just enough noise in the image that it fills in some of the um, blown out highlights all right, once again, before, after, that's a huge change. And you know what, while we're here, let's try the matte look. I'm gonna apply it graciously or generously. And now here's where the fading comes in. Now what I don't like is now it brought the eyes to be black again. And yeah, let's see why it did that. Nope, this is fine here. Nope, that's good. Faded. And bring the contrast way down. All right, so here's what we're experimenting. Personally, yep, I'm not liking the, the way that came out. I'll just reset it, and now I can move on to another experiment. But, in fact, one of the experiments I really like doing was if we convert it to black and white, 
That just looks really nice. Now, I take the adjustment layer and I dial it back and there's my muted colors. So notice I have, I have black and white, full color, and now more, more soft, right about there, I like that. It's just giving it more of a softer look, all right? So there we are, before and after. So uh, again, the whole purpose of this exercise was to show you there's so many different ways that we can restore or lighten an image or bring back some of the underexposed parts of an image. You know, I showed you, here we go. I showed you how we could do it with the light tool. Here's shadows, for example. Let it catch up. So look what shadows is doing. So shadows could have been a nice option, but what we opted for was AI. So we used the AI, the power of AI. In fact, let me get to that level for you. They're down here. And one more. There we go. So when we got down to this layer here, the, the, the bottom layer, we relied a lot on AI to get the ball rolling. Then once we got it rolling, then we used AI for the skin and for the portrait tools to bring light back to his face. Then we relied heavily on the advanced contrast filter. And again, what that did was it brought out the shadows. Look, look without, look, this is how it looks without it. Look how his eyes are like recessed in. They look dark. Boom. We brought back some of the, the shadows in his eyes. All right. So guys, there you have it. Don't throw away your old images. Don't delete them. Keep them. And someday you'll come up with a new way to enhance them and get them back to the vision you had when you first took the photo. Well, guys, I'm Vanelli. Thank you so much for joining us. And I'll see you at the next coffee break.